It runs like shit. What's up everyone? This is Will Cuts at S10 Life. And today I'm gonna be doing a compression test on my 1994 Chevy S10. Single cab short bed, four wheel drive, five speed, 266,000 miles. And yes, it's just an old beater truck. Ain't nothing special about it. Dents and dings all down through it. Look how much that bed is off. Holy shit. That is ridiculous. No tailgate. How does one get off that bad? I'm pretty sure there's only like three bolts holding this bed in. So anyways, it's nothing fancy. Just a work truck. Seats all ripped up in it. Crank windows. Dirty. I mean, it sounds like shit anyway because it's got a glass pack on it. But it runs like shit. So yeah, we're gonna do a compression test on that today. I've never done a compression test before, and I've got a million other things I'd rather be doing right now than uh, working on a thousand dollar truck. But we're gonna do it. So we're gonna open up the handy dandy manual right here. 4.3 liter V6 engine, 2B, there we are. Cylinder compression check. See chapter 2C, son of a bitch. Alright, here's 2C. Cylinder compression check. 3. Compression pressure. Lowest reading cylinder must be at least 70% of highest reading cylinder. 100 PSI minimum. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out all the spark plugs, pull the fuse out, and get started. Full cylinder number three on this one. Can be really tricky to get to. Right there behind the steering shaft. Cylinder number two. See anything wrong with that? Okay, so it comes with all these fancy little adapters here, this hose, the gauge, obviously. So what I need to do is take one of my spark plugs, I'll take my nicest, fanciest one right there. And this looks like it's about the right size. Threads fit together pretty well. I hope that's the right size because that's the only one relatively close to the one I need. Smash the o-ring down just enough to seal it I guess doesn't have a way to put a wrench on right here so I'm just gonna turn the best I can with my hand that looks good quick attach not quick attach what the shit is this what Oh man, it attaches, but I wouldn't say it quick attaches, fuck. All right, there it is. Now I'm gonna screw this into one of the cylinders and see what happens. The throttle needs to be blocked wide open, so I've put that long ass extension in there to hold it wide open. I've got my gauge. And cylinder one. Don't know if you can see the braided line in there or not. Here's my gauge way in here. I can see it. You guys probably can't. This was my first compression test, so I'll walk you guys through exactly what I did. And I'll point out my first problem. The steering shaft 
is right in the way of cylinder <clears throat> number three. So I didn't get a compression check on that one. I did get a check on all of the other ones though. Didn't have any other issues. What I did was I took my gauge, it's got its line, it's got the adapter on the end, and that screws in to your spark plug hole on your head. Take all the other spark plugs out, hold the throttle body wide open, took the fuse out for the computer, and turned the engine over while I had this in the spark plug hole. Cylinder number one, 185 PSI. Cylinder number two, didn't even get a reading. When I hit the release valve here, it let out just a subtle hiss, but it didn't even bring the gauge up. Cylinder number three, couldn't get to because of the steering shaft. Cylinder number four, 185 PSI. Cylinder number five, 180. Cylinder number six, did the same thing as cylinder number two. Zero PSI, barely let out a hiss when I hit the release valve. So now what I'm gonna do is pull the valve cover off of this side because they're both on this side that didn't have any compression. Then we'll see what's wrong in there.